Good morning, happy Tuesday. I just finished out the other vlog and now we're picking up like right here. So I feel like it's a continuation. But what's pretty exciting that I actually just got done doing, just ripping off the band-aid on something that I've been thinking about for a whole long time. And I just went and did a laser hair removal consult because like I said, I've been thinking about it literally since 2020. And it kind of clicked in my head that like if I had started, back when I first thought about it in 2020, I could have been done like a few times over by now. So I was like, just gonna rip off the band-aid. Going into the consult today, I was pretty sure that I wanted to for real do it, but I wasn't totally sold because I wasn't sure on the money amount and everything. But the woman I talked to really answered all my questions. And no matter where Zach and I move next year, there will be a myelin, that's who I'm doing it with, myelin, what is it, laser hair removal there so it'll for sure be able to get finished and everything and i did sign today that i'm going to do it and my first treatment is actually tomorrow which is super fast um she actually offered she was like do you want to come do your first treatment at 1 p.m today which is in like an hour and a half like, yeah, let's do it tomorrow <laughs> like i need some time to let it settle in and what's also a little bit exciting is that now just since i'm in the area there's a home goods and a half price books and even a ross that's like right across the street and i mostly just want to go in home goods i really don't want to spend all that much money but i've we'll talk about when i get home but i've been having i'm trying to make the home work better for zach and i and there's a couple things we've done more recently that has just made me like it a lot better i feel like i kind of held out on not even necessarily, like, for sure decorating, but even just, like, functional type things that can get better. So I have this whole, like, home decor motivation within me, or just, like, making home homey motivation within me, and that's why I want to go to Home Goods. And then, I don't even know if it's worth walking in half price books, because I have so many books that I have yet to read that are sitting at my home, but I'll still be walking into half price books. <laughs> So a little bit funny, I didn't get anything at Home Goods or at Ross, just nothing really appealed to me. I don't know, some of the candles kind of tempted me at Home Goods, but I was like, I have candles that I can burn and I gotta wait till I, you know, have a need for a candle. So I didn't end up getting any, but I did at Half Price Books, I thought it was going to be another bust because I honestly, I was walking on the store and there weren't any books. So I was like, oh yeah, I for sure wanna read that. And I think my chunk of books that's sitting at home that is has yet for me to read was kind of sitting in the back of my mind. But then I stumbled upon their little like puzzle book section and I ended up getting this book, Giant Book of Games, because I figure there's like all sorts of different stuff in here, like some word searches, some connect the dots, some like puzzle type things. And I'm gonna bring it to jail with me because the boys there, they really like connect the dots, but it's hard. I feel like I've run out of like hard connect the dots that are free online. So I was kind of looking and they had a couple books there, but none of them honestly were that hard because the ones I found online are like connect the dots up to like a thousand. So it takes them so long and they really love it. And the ones in there, the book would just went up to like a hundred or something like that, where it just wouldn't really be all that worth it. But they really like connect the dots. They really like word searches, which again, like I have a good free word search site that I'll print stuff off of and give to them to do in their rooms. And again, the word search books there just weren't that good, but I figure this is fun because I can make copies from it and it can be kind of something new to stimulate the mind and give like little activities to do. And then I got actually for myself, this crossword puzzles book, it's from spring 2010 and it's not used at all. But you know, these are like the type of books, like this is the big version of it, but I feel like there's lots of small versions that be like at the checkout at Walmart or like, you know, just something like that in 2010, I guess. So I thought that was kind of cute. And look, it was 359 in 2010. It was kind of expensive in 2010. And it was just $6 now. So I figure this will be fun, little like mindful, slash mindless <laughs> i guess whichever activity while like watching tv or listening to a podcast just something fun so i definitely did not think that my little shopping excursion today would end up with just two puzzle books but i mean i feel good about it <laughs> I 
told myself I would vlog again once I finished one of my crosswords and I have about a dozen half finished crosswords in here because it's actually a lot harder than I thought it would be and I'm trying really hard not to cheat and look things up because that's what I did when I was a kid is I would do the crosswords but then whenever I got to ones I didn't know I would just look them up so then I'd be like mm, a finished crossword how fun but I feel like it has to come from my brain this time and I am having fun with it but they are hard and I haven't finished one yet and I've been spending hours to be honest so yesterday I'm glad my mom died by Jeanette McCurdy the audiobook my hold became ready at the library like on Libby online audible audiobook became ready and I ended up listening to the entire book yesterday <laughs> and while doing crosswords and just doing various other things and so I feel glad to have finally gotten to listen to that book because I've heard so much about it obviously since it came out and I ended up giving it five stars as well I really did I feel like I hate to say enjoyed the book because it's a tough memoir about Jeanette McCurdy's life and her upbringing and her relationship with her mom and just her mom herself and how it's affected her and everything it's definitely a tough book but it is I feel like one of the best memoirs that I have read sometimes nonfiction and like biography memoir type books are hard to give ratings to so usually I don't know I feel like I end up rating them pretty high but as you've probably heard everyone else recommend I'm glad my mom died to you I also recommend I'm glad my mom died to you I feel like in my head it is on a similar level to know my name by Chanel Miller if you know that book it was also an audiobook that I listened to I believe also read by Chanel Miller but I feel like know my name has been like my top tier memoir five stars that I recommend to everybody and I'm glad my mom died just kind of reached that level too I'm trying to think of other memoirs I like becoming by Michelle Obama that's a good book but now and I've actually been listening to this one for a while I just haven't like I don't know devoted myself to listening to it but I'm listening to four wins by Kristen Hanna and it's following a family during Great Depression era and so far it's been good like I really I feel entranced by the story I feel like like it's not too flowery of language or anything like that but I am interested in all that's happening to them so it's a bit longer of one like the audiobook itself is about 14 hours almost 15 hours so it's a longer book but I also am enjoying that I have about 45 minutes right now before I'll leave to go to my first laser appointment I think that's so funny because like I very much did not start this vlog thinking that the actual first treatment would be in this vlog I didn't know how quick we would be getting going to that but I took a very long shower last night shaved everything because I guess from my understanding with laser how she explained it to me it works best if there's high contrast which like light skin dark hair <laughs> I'm a prime <laughs> laser receiver and she said that I'd probably see results pretty quick but the laser targets the contrast and she explained it as it cuts the hair off from its food source and so that's how it ends up being permanent is that it literally like turns off the hair follicle essentially and so she said that while it happens it can feel like a rubber band snapping sort of she compared it to maybe like getting a tattoo but it really doesn't take that long so I feel like I can do anything for a few minutes but I am a little bit I guess apprehensive of how it's going to feel but also I've gotten waxes before I absolutely hate them I'm so tired of shaving so I feel like the results will definitely help me get through it but from my understanding so why you shave beforehand is because the more hair that's there it literally would burn the hair which then could like kind of hurt just a little bit more but after they do the laser treatment any little hairs that are left like under the surface or anything you can literally just like wipe off because they've been cut from their food source I'm intrigued I didn't put on deodorant today because you're not supposed to put anything on the areas prior to getting the treatment that day so I'm kind of worried that I'm gonna get nervous and sweat and stink but I'm sure it's nothing they haven't seen before I just I'm really excited I'm really excited though I've got a few things on the to-do list for today some things that I kind of was going to do yesterday and didn't but I do want to tidy up wash off the bathroom counters is a big thing for me sort out our mail is a big thing for me today so much mail that we get is for previous what tenants of our apartment and just like random subscriptions or just like you know the random mail that's not like super important for them or anything but it's probably I've seen like seven different names that comes to our apartment so it's like at least seven years ago <laughs> mail from people so we just have big piles of it sitting around that I want to you know sort through figure out what I need to do with figure out if I need to return to send or any just kind of deal with that I am in the process of editing a video so I'll be doing that today I do need to get groceries so I think I I may do that while I'm out for laser maybe I haven't decided yet when that will happen and then tonight I actually have a zoom call that I'm kind of excited for that I'll tell you more about once we get closer to it 
10 minutes in and out of my laser appointment, my very first one. And so she even took the time to go over like extra safety precautions and just like pre-treatment, post-treatment, all of that kind of stuff. And still 10 minutes in and out. So it really, one, even if it were bad pain, you can do anything for 10 minutes relatively. And two, it really wasn't even that painful at all, especially compared to waxes I've gotten in the past. I kept like flinching a little bit whenever she'd get close. And I'd be like, sorry, that's like, <laughs> that's the trauma response from waxes because I hate them and they hurt so bad. This is nothing like that. I wouldn't even say it's a rubber band snap, to be honest. Like maybe if you just like, like that level of rubber band snap. The worst parts were wherever it gets the least fatty, whenever it gets closest to a bone. And so in the underarm, like just right in the middle there was the worst part. And then in the land down under, close to the pubic bone was the worst part. But even still, it probably was like one beep, like one millisecond that it was like, ooh, but it, like then it was done. And so she said that since this was my first treatment, it's not like there's gonna be like a lot of results or anything all too much, um, but the hair growth cycle is every five weeks. So I already scheduled my next appointment for five weeks from now. And the biggest noticing that may happen between then and now is that whenever like after I've shaved now, whenever the hair starts to grow back, it may just start falling out. Like I'll just kind of be able to like wipe it with a washcloth and be like, oh, look, there's all my little armpit hair. <laughs> she said by the fourth treatment, which will be in like February for me, is whenever I probably won't even feel the need to shave in between appointments. So very excited for that. Like I mentioned so many times, I have no idea that this would be happening today. And it really was a good experience. I'm kind of looking forward to my next one. I'm looking forward to the process getting started. I'm going to go get groceries now though, because we are almost out of them and I did not make a list like I kind of wanted to. I wanted to get my feet back under me and start making like meal prep plan lists and getting ingredients and stuff like that and I just didn't get the chance to today but you know I figure I might as well get groceries while I'm out so we'll just see. We'll see what I whip up while in the grocery store. Spring is the season that wakes me alive And fall is the season to contemplate life Oh, yeah. I don't know What is it exactly in this time of year That makes the melancholy me reappear Oh, I still have not finished a full crossword. I keep telling myself as soon as I finish one, then I'll go work out. And now it is getting, it's an hour and 40 minutes until my Zoom call. So I need to go work out. And I still haven't finished a crossword. I feel like this fall, you're gonna be slowly watching my demise into half finished crosswords. This one's even like 75% finished, not even a half finished crossword. But it is a rainy day outside. So I've just been listening to my audio book and doing my crossword. And it is, it is a vibe, but I also do need to go work out because I've been slumpy lately. I didn't mention this before because it felt pretty dramatic and honestly it still feels pretty dramatic but this morning before leaving for the laser appointment I, I don't really know how to explain it that well basically I caught my toe under a chair leg as I was like trying to scoop my chair leg in at the dining room table and there was a moment when I thought like I ripped my toe off of my foot I did not I'm okay I will not show you the aftermath because no gore on this channel but um it wasn't good necessarily so that's why we have like a little first aid kit sitting up there and everything. All of that being said, why it's relevant now is that I was just working out. I did just like a little bit of weight and then was on the elliptical and I stopped because I don't know if the little like makeshift tourniquet that I made for my toe got loose or something, but it started to really hurt. See, this is why I didn't talk about it before, the drama. I did not put a tourniquet on my toe. We really are just out of band-aids and so I had to make a little like gauze and tape because contraption, not a tourniquet, but I am kind of scared to see it. Like it really was to the extent where one, I thought my toe was off of my body, but then two, if my toe was still on my body, I thought that it was broken for sure. And then the truth of the matter is just that I basically like ripped a chunk of flesh off. It's not pleasant, that's for sure. I feel like my toe is more bent than it used to be. Oh well, maybe it is broke, we'll find out later. But I know I mentioned yesterday how I've been kind of excited for some things around the home because I feel like I'm kind of making stuff work out better. Like just making things be to where I like them instead of just having like random moments and pockets of chaos throughout the day. So the first one I did that I showed in the last video, you're not gonna be able to see it all too well now, but is that little rack? that's up there. The first aid kit is in the way, but all of my like skincare and everything, even a couple of pumpkins to make it cute are up there as well as a couple of Zach's skincare stuff and everything because we share. That's been game changing for me. I rearranged the window in our kitchen so it's cute and it's currently propagating plants. So that's been game changing for me. 
I feel like there's several habits in my life that I always say I want to improve on and then I never actually am good at them and then I never actually change anything to help myself be good at them and one of those is taking my vitamins and so I got myself it's actually two so I don't know I think I'm gonna use the white one that's kind of cute the beige one but I'm gonna put my vitamins in this and then store it right here where I am every morning to give myself just less barrier to taking vitamins every day which I, I'm excited for because really it is a habit that I've always wanted to be in I even had problems like in high school of needing to take vitamins and to this day I am bad at it so I will stock these up with some vitamins and then we have this one to stare I guess just for fun and then I finally have a candle that I really like that's staying on our nightstand that actually matches the scent of our wall plugins it's the small things that really make the biggest difference but Zach and I since we're all about the aromas also got a diffuser so that's what this is i forget what scent we got but it's one of the reed diffusers so i think i'm not sure if we're gonna keep i think we're gonna keep it in here too so i'll try to set that up later i do need a shower though we have 25 minutes until my zoom tonight which i don't think i've talked about yet basically it's an information session for a possible volunteer opportunity and we'll kind of see because i think i think it's a really cool opportunity if it's going to be kind of what i think it's going to be and would definitely be worth dedicating some time out of my life to because as you know I haven't really been doing my second job lately because I just really honestly super burnt out of it <laughs> not that I will never do it again but I do have some more free hours in the week now which is kind of my justification for this but I will try to weigh it well once I kind of learn more after the zoom call but basically it's a restorative justice project that's hosted by a nonprofit that's in the Atlanta area and I think based on what I've seen it looks like they're going to be starting a restorative justice group I think but we'll find out all about that today on the zoom so that's why I'm excited for it because it honestly felt like the perfect situation because even like a couple weeks ago I was like searching Indeed just curious like not actually trying to switch jobs or anything like I'm not on that but I was like looking at Indeed to see what kind of options there are especially since sometime in the next year I will be changing jobs and I kept like looking restorative justice jobs in all of the possible locations that will be moving next year and there were some that had kind of cool restorative justice groups and programs and stuff like that in the different areas because I honestly that could be a dream for me but in Atlanta there's not and and there wasn't widespread restored justice jobs but it was like right like a couple days after that I was searching that that this came up on my Instagram that was like information session for a volunteer restored justice group <laughs> I think I'm qualified for that. So we'll just see based on the Zoom call. That's what I got tonight though. I got peach kombuchas at the grocery store today. So I'll definitely be drinking that and kind of just all good things as we close out this Wednesday. I really feel like these two days off have been really, really good ones for me, which I'm trying to figure out what I've done different. I don't know if it's just been a mindset. I think the not working the second job has been really helpful for them just being really great. But it's like, I've got a lot done. And I honestly, I think what it is partly, I've been sitting and doing those crosswords for a lot of hours both days without feeling guilty about it like I was like this is my rest time I deserve to have rest time so I did but all that being said I'm gonna shower I'll try to take some clips further on tonight and then we'll discuss the zoom call either afterwards tonight or tomorrow morning and I'll try not to lose my toe in the shower things are not good back and forth through dark roast coffee salt mist and sea sand So the Zoom yesterday actually went pretty well. It was interesting to learn about the stuff that they're doing with restorative justice and the like volunteer opportunities that are associated with it. So I think it is something I'm going to pursue, but they are looking for just a small amount of volunteers. And so if they agree that it would be a good place for me to spend my time, then I will also agree that it's a good place for me to spend my time, you know? So we'll just kind of see where that goes. I don't think I'm gonna know for a while if that's actually something I'm gonna pursue, but obviously if it is a new thing that starts up, I will definitely let you know. I'm home from work right now. It was Thursday today meaning it's our meeting day. I genuinely think as the weeks go on, I just get more and more tried in these meetings, but it wasn't all that bad of a meeting. I didn't present anyone again. I had two counseling sessions with two of my kids. I just have a third one to see tomorrow and then that's my whole caseload because I lost one on Tuesday, I lost one. 
What else? What else? Oh, we did karaoke today. That was fun. I think they really enjoyed that. I do not personally karaoke. I gotta say, I know all the words to a lot of songs and in my car, I'll be singing, I'll be rapping, I'll, and I'm good at it too in my car, but it just, I'm just not, I just can't get up in karaoke. Like to be honest, even with everyone having fun, I feel like that's a thing that even since I was a kid, it's like, well, why can't you just loosen up and like have a good time? It's like, well, I can have a good time, but like from the audience, like I'm not really a get up and be the performance myself. So, but it was fun to watch like the kids and my coworkers and everything with karaokeing and honestly that was a good time i do have notes that i need to do tomorrow when i go in something else that i learned today last month we were having a competition between like my coworkers of who could do the most mental health assessments in the month so that just happens like whenever a kid comes in so there's really no way to like skew it all that much but i ended up getting second place and i honestly didn't even think i was competition like i thought i was not at all in the running i thought i for sure had none but i actually did six assessments last month and that's only counting the ones that I did at the facility I actually work at. The facility I do extra help at, I think I did like two or three more, but that wasn't part of the competition because those are different people that work over there. But I got second place. So we're not doing it again for October, but in November, we're going to have an assessment competition again. And I don't know, I feel like I could get first this time. We'll just have to see. I think that's all the updates though. I did not work out this morning, so I do plan on going this afternoon. I've realized lately that a lot of my vlogs lately, I'll say I work out and then I've like never been filming it. I promise I go to the gym. I just like whenever I'm listening to something, I don't want to stop listening to film myself because anytime I film myself working out, you just gotta know like I'm sitting there in silence <laughs> while I'm doing it. So I just don't always want that. Or sometimes I'll do Sydney Cummings videos. Been doing those probably like every other day so far this month of the days that I'm working out. And whenever I'm watching a video, then obviously then I can't use my phone to also film so I promise I go you just don't see it as much anymore look, look where where do you want me to look <laughs> I didn't even see that bag <laughs> Please. It's an addiction. It needs to stop. They're delicious. <laughs> 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 